this wasn't anticipated and freaking, well, it was more like procrastinated, and I really don't care. I'm like getting sick and tired of fucking doing shit anymore. Ugh, anyways. I'm gonna drink the rest of the bottle tonight. I've had it for like a week or two. Two weeks. Um, for video game drunkards, um, and I don't know how long I'm gonna fucking last doing this shit. Um, alright. Fuck it. Castlevania, Lords of Shadow. Um, do this first. Oh, God. Whew. Okay. Let's do this. I'm gonna just uh, show you some minor shit. So, I'm stuck at this um, Titan graveyard. I haven't beaten it. I've been taking care of my daughter all, all, all fucking week and shit, so. Uh, let's see. Um, where am I at here? Uh, what is this? Alright, so I'm just going to take you to the Dark Lord of the Lycans because that's probably like the best boss fight. Gabriel has fought long and hard to we'll go to through this the point. stage first. And now he faces his stiffest challenge. The Dark Lord of the Lycans must be defeated if Gabriel stands any chance. I don't know who that is talking, anyways. That's um, Captain, Captain uh, Picard, I think it is, from Star Trek. Patrick Stewart. Professor Xavier. What have you? The bar on the left is light magic. The bar on the right is shadow magic. And shadow magic helps your attacks, and the light magic pretty much helps you to uh, gain your your life back. And um, oh no, it, it'll work out. It'll work out. Yeah. Just gonna play a little bit of the game for you, then uh, give you a review real quick. I have come to fulfill the prophecy. On Lycan soil. I wonder, warrior, if you know where you are and who I am. I am on desecrated land, and you and those of your clan do not deserve to live. <laughs> you say you are here to fulfill a prophecy. You and the other Lords of Shadow are protecting a power in your sanctuaries. I have come to reclaim that power. You, alone, you dare enter my inner sanctum to take your petty mortal turns to me. I am immortal, little man. And your pathetic prophecy is known to me. But you are ignorant. Ignorant of the real truth of your situation. It is you who are ignorant. Ignorant of the pain and suffering you have brought to this land. Hear me. Many centuries ago, three great warriors founded the Brotherhood of Light, the order to which you belong. Their sole purpose was to serve God and defeat the devil. For decades. The founders fought fiercely against the spawns of Satan, 
and finally tip the equilibrium in God's favor. Such was their commitment to the crusade that their studies in holy enlightenment led them to three sacred places where the power of God converged with such intensity that it forged a bridge between the spiritual and the real. The founders used that power to purify themselves, abandoning their human forms and transforming them into spiritual beings whose power was second only to God. You tell me nothing that I did not already know, beast. Little did they realize that what they left behind were not their carcasses devoid of souls, but instead of the dark sides of themselves. Don't you see? That is how we came to be. We who you call the Lords of Shadow. No, you lie. This place is where one of your founders ascended into heaven and where I was born. This is the place where, according to your prophecy, a warrior of light will reclaim the power of my beloved brother in heaven and I too will diminish. If that were to occur, he would die with me, because we are still the same being. He and I, still connected. Kill me, and you kill him. Kill us all, and you will kill the saintly founders of your own order. Ah, oh, brother, even you will have to smile at the island. Perhaps he is willing to sacrifice himself for you, for the greater good. I, however, am not. I am Cornell, Lord of the Lycan.